Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Elena and this is my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming a how I edit my Instagram photos plus how I plan out my Instagram photos and then also some Instagram like tips for editing and planning out your Instagram photos. So I'm gonna split it into um, different categories. So I'll have a timestamp for each of those different um, categories if you just want to skip there because I know you don't want to watch something that like it's not going to help you so yeah you can skip to those timestamps and I use visco to edit my Instagram photos just for warning I don't use Lightroom anymore because I found visco and it's so much better and it's so much easier so yeah let's just get straight into the video hey, feeling good like I should Okay, so first we're going to start off with just how I edit my Instagram photos in general. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously start the screen recording real quick. So the first thing I want to do is just find an Instagram photo to edit. I'm going to be editing like these photos today because I just randomly took them and I need to edit them anyways. So I have these two photos. I think I'm going to edit this one first and just see how it looks. So I'm going to go into this go. And then I'm just going to grab that photo inside of Visco and import it. Then I'm going to click these two little dots at the bottom. And the first step I do is I will pick the filter, which is M5. And after that, I just kind of edit the filter and give it its own look. And I do the same edit for all of my photos so that it can be the same theme. And usually I create a preset with that edit so I can just click the preset and it already puts it on the photo. But because I'm making this video, I'm going to show you guys straight up how I do it. So then we're going to go to the dots down here and I'm going to go to exposure first. And I'm going to turn the exposure down by two and then we're going to go to contrast and I'm going to turn the contrast down by 1.5 then I'm going to go to saturation and I'm going to turn up the saturation by 2 and then I'm going to go to white balance and I'm going to turn the temperature down into the blue area by 2 and this kind of like settles out the colors because I did a little, um, a lot of contrast and saturation. And then lastly, I'm going to go to fade and turn that up by two. And that is the end of basically what I do with my Instagram photos. I just save it. I don't post any of my photos to Visco. I just save them and then they go in my camera roll. And then I have the finished photo. And so yeah, that's basically how I edit my Instagram photos. It's that easy. So now I'm going to show you guys how I plan out my Instagram photos. I use Preview to do this. Preview is an app where you can plan out your Instagram photos and use them, um, move them around and just use them really easily. Um, and also if you're watching this, you get a sneak peek at what my Instagram feed is going to look like because I have some photos I haven't posted on here yet. You guys should definitely go follow my Instagram. I'll link it down below in the <laughs> I can't talk. I'll link it down below in the description so you can go follow my Instagram. But yeah, here is my feed. You can just move photos around that are already in your feed. So you can just move stuff. So then you can see how your feed will look once you post the pictures. But I'm going to add in that picture that I just edited. I'm going to use um, carousel because I'm going to add more than one photo. So we're going to use the photo I just edited. And then we're going to use um, the other photo. And I'm going to push done. And then it just imports the photo into preview and now I can move it around wherever I want to I kind of like it where it is right now but you know I can just make some changes see how I like it um make sure I like the situation of where the photo is and then bam you can also export your pictures to Instagram from here you just push the export button at the bottom and you can also write captions and stuff and then it will take you to Instagram it'll save the photos to your camera roll and then take you to Instagram to post the photo now I'm not posting it right now so we don't really need that but yeah that's kind of how I plan out my Instagram feed is using preview and then now I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how you guys can make your own Instagram feed and edit so the way I get a lot of my um like Instagram filters is from Pinterest and one thing you can do is look up Fisco Instagram themes 
and it will give you like these kind of pictures that show you literally how to get the exact photo editing of the feed so it's like g8 plus 12 exposure minus 0.5 contrast minus 2 etc and then you can use these to get really cool looking feeds and this is how i actually got the feed that i'm doing right now so they have a 90s theme they have a neon lights theme they have so many different kinds um that you can use just for any season any kind of filter that you want oh, i cannot use pinterest to save my life right now but so yeah um i'm currently using the holiday theme right now which is the exact thing you just saw me do and i just follow this um right here and i get this theme which is really pretty and then soon i might start using this one we'll see and then i also love the december one it's really pretty that's basically how I find my filters for Instagram, and it's really, really helpful. I think it's great. And then, yeah, as far as planning your Instagram feed, a tip I want to give you is definitely plan it where the colors are, um, don't clash. So if you see, I plan it kind of accordingly. So if there's like a light picture, it's all the same filter, but if it's like a light picture, and then there's like a darker picture, you want to match those up together. So like this photo right here is kind of a very light photo and then this one is more of a darker photo. So I kind of make sure they don't clash too much and that it still blends. So when you're just looking through the feed, everything just kind of blends together. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all the tips I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy, you know? Here, my Instagram freaking feed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was not that long, but I do hope you guys got something out of it nonetheless. Um, if you guys want to follow my Instagram, once again, it will be down below. And also, please subscribe and leave a like so that we can get to 300 subscribers soon. That'd be so amazing. My um, year anniversary of being on YouTube is in February. It's like on I made my YouTube channel on February 1st of 2019, and now it's about to be February 1st of 2020. So that'd be great if we could, could get to 300 subscribers. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!